Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to run object segmentation using the Yolo binary model. We'll be doing this using only three lines of code, so if you're ready to do it, let's get right into it. So right here I'm using Visual Studio Code and you can see I've created a new project and over here I have the three lines of code we need to run the Yolo binary object segmentation. So I'll quickly take you through and explain each and every line of code and also the dependencies you need to install in order to make this work okay so the only library we need is Ultrality so you just have to go ahead and install Ultrality for that you need to pull up your terminal but before you even install it you have to create a virtual environment go to new terminal and over here I've already created a virtual environment I have a tutorial on how to create a virtual environment in case you're having problems or issue creating a virtual environment, you can watch that tutorial and um, learn it is straightforward. Just one line command. Okay, so um, the next thing is to just install Tralities, which I've installed already. But before you install it, um, you have to make sure you activate your virtual environment. So the name of my virtual environment is Seg. You can see it right here. So Seg script activate. I will hit enter and then uh, to install it, I've already installed it. You just have to right click install Ultralytics and this will go ahead and install Ultralytics for you. But in my case, all the requirements are satisfied because I've already installed it. Okay, so apart from installing the library, the next thing you need to do is to get an image or um, you have a webcam that is fine. So I'll teach you how to run this model both on image files and also. Uh, live feed coming out from your camera. So we start off by using image file and um, after installing the package you just need to import YOLO from Autralities. Then the next thing is that you create an instance of the YOLO model and over here you type in YOLO v9c.segment.pt. So you just have to type this, make sure it's correct because this the pre-trained model you'll be downloading in order to run object segmentation. So from that line, we have our model. So the next thing is that we bring this model and then uh, we feed this model with the image or video file or with our webcam. We specify show to be true so that we can visualize it on our screen and save is also equal to true. And this will just go ahead and save it into our working directory. So this is all you need in order to run a segmentation using the Yolo V9 model. This is the pre-trained model. I've run this before, so it, it, it went ahead and installed it for me. No problem. If this is your first time, you just have to make sure you are connected to the internet because it will go ahead and download this pre-trained model for you. So now I have this image here, sam.jpg. You can see it right here. It's an image of myself. Um, we are just going to run it and see how it performs on this image. Okay, so this is done running and you can see results saved to run segment predict so we go to runs segment and predict and you can see it's right here that we are having our results so you can see um it has detected a person with a confidence of 0 0.93 which is 93 percent and then apart from that it has segmented uh, my face and my whole body very well that's great i think it's working fine so the next thing we'll do is to move on to how to use uh, video files or get, use our webcam. For video file, if you have a video file right here, you just have to specify the name of your video file here. And that's it. It will go ahead and show it for you. Now let's try and run this using our webcam. And for that, you just need to provide the index of the particular webcam you want to use. So I'll just put zero here so that it picks up my webcam. And I'll go ahead and run this. And here we go, guys. So you can see how accurately it's segmenting me. Um, I'm running this on CPU, so it's very slow. It's very, very, very slow. You can see. Um, I have a cap here. Let me also raise it and let's see if it will be able to segment it. This is very slow because it's on CPU. Okay, I think we got it. That's a cap. So this is a live feed coming out from a camera and uh, you can see it's doing or making a great effort to uh, detect and segment these objects. So guys, you can see this is how easy this is straightforward. Um, I think 
you can you guys can just set this up and run it yourself this all for this particular tutorial so guys that's it if you have any uh, tutorial requests you are facing any issue setting this up uh, don't worry just let me know in the comment section and as usual i will help you out in order to resolve these issues thanks for watching and as usual uh, i'll see you in upcoming tutorial